Okay, so this isn't turning on at all. Okay, so this is the CK100 Plus. Um, I'm gonna get this key programmed. I just replaced the ign ignition cylinder and this is a new key, so I'm gonna get it reprogrammed. So what you do is you plug this into the OBD2 port. Um, you wait this 10 seconds. Okay, we're gonna go immobilizer, go down to Honda. USA, because this is a Honda USA car. Accord 03 to 08. So now we're gonna insert the key and turn it to the on position. Press enter, erase all keys, yes. We're gonna program one key right now. Enter again, turn the ignition to the off position, press enter, on position, press enter. Enter, turn it on, press enter. Turn it off, press enter, turn it on, enter again. Off, enter, on, enter. And already I know that it works because the key is not blinking right now. So look at that, it's not blinking. So the warning light on the console is not blinking, so we don't have to re repeat the procedure. So we're gonna press enter and we're gonna do yes. Now we're gonna see if it starts. And it does start, so that's how you do it. This uh, programmer only costs about $100, 100 to 150 and you can pretty much do unlimited amount of programming. I would definitely get it if you lose keys often or if you buy vehicles without keys. I'm just gonna show you really quick what kind of vehicles you can do on it. So all of these, Acura, Buick, Dodge, Fiat, Ford, GMC, so pretty much all domestic vehicles, a lot of the Japanese vehicles, some of the German vehicles. Um, Volvo is not on here. I had a Volvo without a key that I was trying to do. It does not work. Uh, I'm not sure about BMW. doesn't look like BMW is but Audi is so I mean there are a lot of things you can do um, you can also program the remote on it you can get a pin code for like a Nissan and uh, do some other stuff so I'll have a video on how to do all of this stuff but right now I mean this is definitely something that you want to buy if you have lost your key and you don't want to get the car towed to the dealership um, and then have the key made there so this key right here and this ignition switch cost me $65 um, and then this tool right here cost me 120 otherwise I would have had to tow the vehicle to the Honda dealership which would be about $150 because I live 30 miles away from a Honda dealership then I would have to have the key cut um, the key programmed and if I wanted a valet key that would have cost me about a two hundred dollars if I wanted a regular key With a key fob it would have cost me about three hundred and fifty 
So I mean right there, that's anywhere from 350 to $500 to get this vehicle back on the road. And I ended up spending about $185 and 120 of that is just a fixed cost that um, if I ever have this happen again, which I will because I am notorious for losing my keys, then uh, I won't have to do it anymore. And then you can also program other keys to the vehicle. Um, the best way to do that is buy a key on eBay that matches your key with the computer inside of it and everything. Um, a blank one, go to a, a locksmith and bring your original key, have that key cut, and then uh, you can plug it into your vehicle and program it again, and then you'll have multiple keys. So that's the cheapest, best way to do it. That'll cost you about $40 or less for a brand new key with a key fob. I'm um, definitely gonna do that on many of my vehicles, so I have a spare key in case I do lose them. But if you guys have any questions, let me know and I will do my best to help you figure it out. Thank you.